Oh, hey, can I call you back in like, how long is this gonna go? Like 14 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to Mummy Amigos. I sound really sexy today. We are here with Jason Roman. Look at him. This is, yeah. this is going to be a cool podcast, guys. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm great, man. Thank you for having me on. This is 100%. such an honor, obviously. Oh, my God. Yeah. Here, let me... The honor is all ours. He's like, let's, let's get you saying that again. <laughs> yeah, just, one more time. Just, I need a little uh, bit louder. Can just, you also just call my mom? And just, <laughs> can you tell, tell her, her you're proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> I really need it. <laughs> yeah, no, this is dope, man. I love what you guys are doing. I love that you're branching out and doing something different in this space on YouTube as everybody's like, you know, it can get a little stale. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, so bringing something exciting to the scene. I dig it, man. I yeah. love it. So I'm glad to be here. We just like, you know, we, we turned the cameras on one night when we were recording ourselves and we we're just like, why don't we make this a thing? Like yeah. people potentially theoretically seem to like us. So why not? I mean, why not do something with it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. That's how podcasts are born. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and it was fantastic because you were on the short list. We came here to New York. Yeah. So I'm super glad we got to hang out several times. Absolutely. So far. And it was a beers and camera event too. That was going on. You guys are out here for that, and we just linked yeah. over mm -hmm. that. So that's yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, it's always yeah. nice to connect with everybody. When oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, totally. Wasn't that beers and cameras kind of crazy? I mean, it was I mean, packed. dude, we did one in Germany in yeah. Berlin, and that yeah. was crazy because like it was Taco, it was Samuel Street Life, and it was one other person. Juan was there. Yeah, and me. Yeah. And like I was, they just threw me on the list randomly, and like yeah. 150 people showed up to oh Safe Flight God, Berlin, no and it's like the tiniest little film yeah. shop. It's probably about. A little bit smaller than this room. No yeah. way. And like, they all got so nervous. They were like, will you do an intro? Will you talk? I was like, fuck no, man. I was like, nobody knows me here. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, 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 you yeah. want to say something? I was like, no. Uh, just real quick, no swearing. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Clean, family-friendly <laughs> podcast. Um, I like no. bleeps. I, I'm fully into no, bleeping. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's not the beep. Lot. There's a beep somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, wow, so Germany, Germany, beers and cameras. Was there like was a, a language barrier at all there? Uh, n not the people that I spoke to. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, in Berlin, typically everybody speaks English in Berlin. Oh, okay. It's like nobody actually wants to speak German in Berlin. It's kind of strange. Huh. Yeah. Well, spe probably especially to like Americans or people who speak English, right? They're probably like, oh, I want to either test it or try it or, or maybe not. Maybe. I think Berlin is kind of like everybody's it's like where all the cool German educated people live and they yeah. take music mm -hmm. seriously and they take their right. culture seriously. So cool. I went with a friend who was German and we'd go to a coffee shop and she would order in German and mm. they would answer in English. And she's like, this is so weird because mm. it's like a status symbol, right? It's like, okay, if yeah. you yeah. don't speak multiple languages in a country like Germany, it's probably because you're not oh, educated. Right. So yeah, okay, in okay. Berlin, it's like cool that you speak all these different yeah. languages. They I wish want to speak like, English. I wish that was something here. I wish people oh, yeah. would do that here. I mean, I would not be educated. So what, would, would, your yeah, second, but, what would your second language be? You know, like Swahili. <laughs> no, I think I think Japanese would be really cool. Oh, I'd That'd love the word. Yeah. That would be cool. Japanese would be really Japanese cool. Japanese or French for me. Ah, yeah. French, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful language. Oh, my God. It'd be sick. Yeah. yeah. yeah my yeah. girlfriend's French, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice to talk to her sometime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And how long have you been together? <laughs> you have that much game, huh? <laughs> we just stare deeply into each other's <laughs> eyes. That's it. That's it. I know sign language. <laughs> and she gets it. Honestly, sign language. That would be a good one, too. Yeah. I really like sign language. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Did you uh, get to do a lot of, like, on the streets kind of shooting while you're out in Germany? Um... Not really. I was only there for like a day or mm -hmm. something like that, oh, just for okay. that thing. Yeah. So I took some snaps and stuff yeah. like that. I don't even remember if I had a flash on me, but I don't shoot that much when I travel. What? I find oh, it. I find it really difficult to find a thread. Like I'm mm. not a. Uh, I'll take pictures if I see something that really strikes me. Yeah. yeah. But I struggle knowing what the purpose of the images are. So when I'm traveling, oh, I, I okay. shoot way less than I would expect to. Unless it's a place like, we went to Morocco recently and I just oh, like yeah. went absolutely apeshit like, shooting. Dude. Cause I just couldn't stop photographing. Yeah, Cause yeah. it's just, I mean, culturally shocking. You go to someplace like London yeah. or Germany, it doesn't feel that different. Yeah, know? yeah. Mm, yeah, big city, so, big city I mean, vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Morocco is crazy. It's, it's a little crazy. Is it's it more like, about like, are you trying to find yeah. intention before you start shooting? I think so. I think yeah. I think I'm. I know exactly what it is that I want in New York City, and yeah. okay. I, I make photography very difficult on myself when I do street photography because yeah. I'm looking for <laughs> I'm looking for 
like a very specific look that someone has on their face. It's yeah. like a thousand mm. mile stare, mm. you know? Yeah. Like one question I get asked a lot is like, how do you get people to look the way they do in your photographs? And yeah. I'm like, mm. I can't, I have no clue. There's no way to coach someone into going somewhere that they've never been. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, see yeah. it and I ask yeah. them to go back there. Uh, That's kind yeah. of what so I you're, do. You're, you're, I mean, you're looking straight basically through them and into them and, and, and potentially like what they have to offer on their face when you see them. Kind it's of a thing. moment. Like, it's like, not like, like if the way you're sitting right now, like if I just saw you sitting on a bench kind of staring off, I'll just, I typically would just watch for a second and be like, I wonder where their head's at. Mm. They're conveying some type of mm. emotion. So then I'll go yeah. over and be like, look, you know, I'll either try to snap it first. If mm -hmm. I can't get it, I'll mm. talk to them. And one of the things that Bruce Davidson subway, he, uh, in the forward, he's basically talking about how he got most of his portraits. And he's like, he would either just snap it mm -hmm. and then show someone or send them a print. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get oh. their permission. Yeah. Or if he felt like he couldn't get the moment, he would approach mm -hmm. them and say, listen, um, this is a really beautiful moment. Would you do me a favor and just kind of whatever you were thinking about, just oh. go back there. Just start oh, thinking about yeah, it again. Yeah. And I'm just going to step back and photograph mm, you. Gotcha. And so yeah. that's, a, that's an approach that I use a lot. That wonder, makes sense. I wonder how hard it is for people on the street to be like just spaced out, thousand mile stare or whatever. Mm -hmm. Have someone approach them, bring them out of it, and then be told like, hey, just go back into it. Yeah, go back you there. Know? You'd be surprised. People, yeah. it's usually right there at the tip of their mind. So mm. they kind of like jump back in pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's also fun because it's like, you know, you're asked to me, street photography is like a game, right? Mm, it's like you're okay. asking somebody yeah, yeah, to play yeah. the game with you in a sense. Oh, interesting. You know? Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. When they're down, yeah. it's, it's, that's when it's at its best. Do you think something like this, having a camera in your hand would <laughs> disarm them just a little bit and, and like, just cause they're like, oh wait, okay. I think I kind of know potentially what this will be kind of thing. Like at, at least like if, if you came up to someone without anything and you were like, mm. Hey, you know, do you think that would be a little disarming for them. I think, the I think camera? A, a camera in general is disarming. Like I, the reason why yeah. I like carrying a camera on is because I'm a curious person by mm. nature. And I think in life, it's hard to interact with strangers without an intention, right? Right. So, oh, no, totally. Exactly. Yeah, and that's kind of where I was going with that. Intention, totally. Right. So you yeah. walk around yeah. with a camera, everybody starts right. to, they know okay, what you yeah. want. If I walk up to some stranger, 100%. they're not like, what the f they see my yeah. camera and they're like, yeah. okay, oh, yeah. probably wants a photo. Exactly. Right? And, it, and, so, it, and it takes them like, they're like, okay, I don't have to think, but it's like, I mean, that's the thing. It's like when you go up to someone and when you're having a conversation, the, f the easiest way in is probably the best in, yeah. in terms of like disarming them to make them feel comfortable. Yeah. Because that's all about communication is just making Absolutely. people feel yeah. comfortable. And it's first. also an energy thing, right? Like yeah. I can't, that's undeniable. That's a part of street, street or just documentary photography in mm -hmm. general that you can't really teach someone who you are is what you bring to the table, right? Mm, Every yeah, photo yeah, yeah. is a self portrait. Mm -hmm. So like if you tend to be a rigid person, maybe you can't shoot the way that I shoot. You right, know? right. I have yeah. a friend that I told you about. His name is Caleb. He's six mm -hmm. four. He's yeah. darker skin than me, yeah. deeper voice than me, uh -huh. you know, and he, he's a he's a he's a bull in a china shop. Yeah, he can't be smooth. Okay, he can't yeah. be coy. He can't yeah. steal moments. Yeah, okay. He is a red flag everywhere he goes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. has to be yeah. a more aggressive photographer, right? Okay, so it's yeah. Like, you know, Ralph Gibson once said to me, you know, lean into your strengths and run the fuck away from your weaknesses. Oh, and okay, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. some of the best advice I've ever gotten. And how do you, you know? how do you learn what your strength is, and how do you know your weaknesses when it comes to photography, either street, whatever, you know. I mean, I think it's, that's like a, a lifelong lesson. You yeah. know, if you're not okay. like thinking about like who you are, how you grew up, mm -hmm. um, you know, all those factors that make you who you are in your photography. Like maybe it's a hobby. I'm not putting, I, when I started to talk about photography, like yeah. I'm putting an unnecessary pressure on people to okay, like yeah. deliver on a level, <laughs> yeah. but like. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We don't all need here. to think like yeah, yeah, this, yeah. but yeah. I do think about like what it is that I'm creating with my work. Totally. And to me, um, I think about, you know, I studied acting for a long time and I understand mm. that people feel comfortable around me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I project that energy. Totally. So uh -huh. I yeah. take advantage of that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I take yeah, advantage yeah. of the fact that like New York is a part of my identity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the work that I'm trying to create is me saying, okay, if somebody only ever saw my version of New York, mm -hmm. what am I going to show them? Am I going to show them backpacks and tourists? No. I'm going to yeah. craft my little bubble of yeah. New York because mm -hmm. this is who I am and this is what I miss. Totally. So that's, that's why when I travel, it gets a little bit harder to photograph. Do I you, can see that. Do you think your version of New York is just how you see it? Or are you trying to capture New York as it truly is away from like the tourism, the most photographed stuff? No, it's purely, uh, it's purely selfish. Um, mm -hmm. I'm casting a play, so to speak. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you're, you, you get to be in the play. You don't get to be in the play. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. kind of how uh -huh. I see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. who's, who's fascinating, who feels yeah. like yeah. they're truly from New York. And that's kind yeah. of, that's my yeah. foundation. Will there be a play? 
of your like an actual play like are you gonna write like you know i don't know 10 years from now you're like you know what it's time to dust off the acting chops i mean maybe maybe that'll be a way of displaying some work in 10 years where it's like very very like theatrical in a yeah. sense, you know. Take you take the YouTube and that and the way that YouTube is and mm. how photographers use YouTube and put that on stage. I mean, I would love to I don't do know. It. There's something there, maybe. <laughs> I don't maybe not. What would you say your like hit rate is? You go up to somebody, you're like, hey, mm. can I take a photo? You get a yes, or they try and strangle you. What's the percentage, you know? <laughs> I never <laughs> I've never been in a fight. Ever. Oh, okay. Ever. I've had some people say some stuff to me, but mm -hmm. like I've what I what I've realized a long time ago. When I was letting um, other people's ideas of what photography and street photography, documentary photography were, affect me before I came to my own conclusions, was that, oh, you're bruising the scene or you can't interact with people. But my favorite thing yeah. when I was photographing was getting caught. Mm. Like I take a picture of someone and then like I just like they'd see me and I'd like flash a smile and then we have this great conversation. Yeah, uh, yeah. And mm -hmm. I always loved that. I didn't like the element of like boom, 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 I'm gone. You know what yeah, I mean? I always yeah. like being in the moment. Yeah. So walking someone mm. back from wanting to fight me which has happened a couple times. Yeah. And like, next thing yeah. you know, we're just laughing and like having right, a photo right, shoot. Right, 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 right. I've always loved that because to me, that's like strengthening yeah. that, like that uh, New York sensibility. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? No, it's totally. like, I yeah. think, I think that's the thing. I'm like, I'm scared to get caught. And so maybe that's why I don't yeah. take photos, but like, I don't know why I should be like, it's not like anything's weird or like I don't, <laughs> nothing's happened to me that I should be scared. <laughs> I'm kind of scared know? of it too. Like the other night when we were leaving the studio, there was a shot down the street and uh, there's this uh, couple standing perfectly in front of this like shop that was lit up beautifully. I'm like, I have to take this photo real quick. Uh -huh. And so as I like click the shutter, I think she turns around and sees me or something. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> she's like, Oh, is he just taking a picture of darkness? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a great, that's a great way to do it. I mean, there's yeah. nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah. That's like yeah. a popular technique is like right. playing dumb. You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. does this camera work? <laughs> yeah. It also helps if you are dumb. <laughs> Yeah, it's really easy. That's that's a good play for you. Every artist is constantly growing. What would you say is like something you've done recently to grow as an artist? Something you did that was yeah. different? That oh, I mean, yeah, I'm constantly challenging myself. I'm shooting moths now. We kind of spoke yeah. about yeah. this briefly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have never done a fine art project. I've always wanted to. And I was inspired by Irving Penn's cigarette series where he photographed right. cigarette butts yeah. in the street. Yeah. Uh, he would pick them up, put them in a Ziploc bag or whatever the hell they had back then. <laughs> probably wasn't a Ziploc. Probably just his pocket. Yeah, probably just in his pocket or a napkin or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A handkerchief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh, okay. A lot of texture. Yeah. And uh, yeah. he, he did these massive prints. So mm -hmm. um, I got yeah. connected with a guy who has like the largest collection of moths in North America. Yeah. And he let me take a look at them. And like he gave me a little bundle to mm -hmm. come back with and like mess around with and photograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that so, something you wanted... Was that an idea you had before you got connected with him or you got connected with him? And yeah, I saw just, the moths and oh, okay. I think the reaction that I had to him was like immediately, I was like, I've never felt this way before. Yeah, like, I, yeah. you know, everybody knows butterflies, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. we're all sick of butterflies oh, at this point. Pretty. And they're out yeah. in the daytime. Like yeah. a lot of these moths are nocturnal. So people don't oh. really see the beauty of these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that through my photographs, I can like give people that same feeling that yeah. I had when I first saw them. Yeah, yeah. Where I was just yeah. kind of like, like what, what? how do I not know this? You know yeah. that every once in a while in your life you see something and you go like, how do I not know this story? How do I not know yeah. this thing? And that's kind of how I felt. So I was like, I need to make this a project. Yeah. And uh, four years later, I started shooting them. And I think- Wow, four years. That's, yeah, yeah from the time of like, that's a long time. Yeah, that's why well, I, I was shooting Fuji at the time. And yeah. Maybe that wouldn't have been the right tool, like yeah. using uh -huh. crop sensor stuff. Oh, Could have yeah. shot at medium format, but then medium format, the depth of field is too shallow, mm. so now I'm shooting with the SL2, which is kind of yeah. like the right mixture okay, yeah, um, yeah, of equipment. Yeah, yeah. And also, when I visited him the first time, he had like Leica microscopes, and right. I, that always stuck with me, and I had my oh, Fuji right. stuff, and I was yes. like, oh, yep. man, Leica. So I showed yeah. back up huh, that's with cool. my Leica gear. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Like, hey, can yeah. I come in now? <laughs> can I see your butterflies or your, your moths? <laughs> so what you're saying is, I didn't know what narwhals were for a long time. I thought they were just fairy tale creatures or something. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. my girlfriend's like, wait, no. No, they're real. They're real. <laughs> what the hell is it? What? A narwhal. A narwhal. <laughs> I have no clue. The, 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 <laughs> the, Finally, somebody else. It's not just me, Monica. I'm in New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> a, a whale with a big old uh, like unicorn horn. Dude, it's great finding somebody else who does not know what narwhals are. We're pretty Jason similar. Williams unite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they, uh, yeah, let's let's talk about that for like three seconds. We found out last night we're both Jason. Our middle names are both William. We're both photographers who have best friends named Caleb. 
Best friend is kind of a stretch. Okay, yeah. well, whatever. <laughs> um, Find out now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you have a dog named Baxter, right? <laughs> close. Close, yeah. close, close. Taquito. Uh, shout out to Taquito. She's probably, Taquito. Nap- she's probably napping right now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cute name for a dog. Yeah, that's a little is. girl. She's a yeah. little crazy thing. Yeah. yeah. You ever like seen how, um, how um, big? Um, uh, She's like a little 12 pound okay. thing. Yeah, yeah. She's Brussels Griffin Pug, but um, she got her name from Tim Narek's. Billion oh. dollar movie? You ever seen oh. that? I know, but I know Tim, Tim yeah, and Eric. They're crazy. Really, oh John C. Riley played this kid that got left in a shopping mall, <laughs> and he's like all grown now, and, he, and he's like perpetually sick. He's yeah. like, like he he'll be coughing the whole time, and he's like, I hope I'm not sick in heaven. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god! But in order That's to survive, funny. he would eat these leftover taquitos. <laughs> He's like, oh. they're like, those are going to make you sick. He's like, it's okay. I just suck out the inside. <laughs> Dude, I had a friend that used to suck out the insides of taquitos. And I was like, I'm oh never eating that God. again. That I just can't do it anymore. Disturbing. I, know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I have to watch that on the plane home now. Yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting movie. Oh I saw God. it three times. The oh, first wow, time times. I was like, okay. this is the worst thing I've ever yeah. seen in my uh-huh. entire life. Uh-huh. <laughs> the second time I was really high with some friends and I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever <laughs> yeah. seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I tried to show it to someone else and I was like, this is not a good movie. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> so, okay, so maybe I'll need to go through that. Undecided on things. whether or not okay. I like it, but that's okay, why my okay. dog is yeah, yeah, Taquito. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's really funny. Because she's a rescue wow. dog and when I saw her, I was yeah. like, this dog looks sick as fuck. It looks like it was abandoned in a mall. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Man. So I didn't know you you did some acting on the side. Yeah. I didn't know you were yeah. kind of trained to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I studied yeah. acting for five years when I was in my 20s. Okay. Oh, wow. And um, yeah, it's uh, my ethos in life is kind of like run towards fear. Yeah. It's yeah. very important to me oh, to totally. like make that decision to constantly, if I'm afraid of something, I have to go do it. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it just kind of eats away at you. My, my buddy says the same thing, but fear forward. Fear forward? Yeah, fear forward. Yeah. yeah. You have That's, to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a decision that you make. Like, fear yeah. doesn't actually mean anything. Yeah. And through studying acting, I learned so much about myself and um, just being present and understanding that nerves just basically mean that you care about oh, what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. You know, yeah. like if yeah. you didn't give a shit, of course you're not going to be nervous. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But the moment something has some importance or some weight to it, that's when yeah. everything yeah. kicks up. So it means mm. you need to do it. Yeah. For yeah. sure. We're dead inside. <laughs> no. so, that's really cool though and then I'll keep going yeah. what kind of school of acting do you come from are you more like a stage like you know theater, big emotion theater. Okay, or cool. like theater. subtle cine it was of? all theater yeah. all everything theater? that I did okay. yeah. yeah so cool. I started there and like you know I used to get really nervous on stage like so yeah. nervous that I couldn't even like I couldn't drink on yeah. stage. I couldn't cold read because the paper would shake and like oh, all yeah, kinds yeah, of stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So like yeah. I spent two years kind of getting over that fear, taking voice classes, taking improv classes, anything that yeah. I possibly could. And then crazy story, like <clears throat> out of nowhere, one day the fear just came back, like ferocious. Oh, interesting. Like I could not get back on stage without yeah. like stuttering or like shaking. And I was like, what am I going to do? Like, how do I, how do I defeat this thing again? Yeah. And, uh, me and some friends came up with this idea that we would go to an open mic night yeah, comedy yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and just bomb with no material. Oh, wow. That's no material. Ballsy, man. It was crazy. I was like, look, if I can die on stage, I'm yeah. like, I'll live forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, nothing can kill uh-huh. me. Yeah. So uh, I went That's with That's a great a, idea. It was, it was a great wow. idea. I went with a couple of homegirls okay. and like, it was the pit, open mic night at the pit. And like, I mean, some comedy legends are like, people are up there yeah. killing it, trying right, out right. new material, like, you know, no pads, <laughs> just bringing the house down, yeah, flipping yeah, yeah. pages, everybody's yeah. dying. And mm-hmm. then like, they get to 43, I was 44. It was 42, 43 with my two friends. Yeah. One of them just freezes up. They have to like, oh, sorry, mm. we're going to get her off stage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 43, she just like, bombs yeah. no one laughs she's just, yeah. and i'm like sick i'm like yeah. laying on the bleachers yeah, yeah, like i'm about to throw yeah, up yeah, and like faint yeah. and, oh like, yeah. and they call me up and i'm like you know what I fuck it i'm just gonna go i go up on stage yeah and I, I the first thing that i said uh there's two things i love in life pop my mom and the dude <laughs> in this booth that was announcing everything he must yeah. it must have been seth rogan i swear to god yeah. it's like a metal bench you can't even see him it's like in this grate with a speaker yeah, like yeah. calling people to the yeah, stage uh-huh. like jason roman oh. yeah. he thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever heard in his entire life so this laughter comes erupting from the booth yeah yeah, yeah. the whole crowd loses it and yeah like i ended up killing oh my god <laughs> I, I absolutely ended yeah, up yeah, killing yeah, on yeah, stage yeah. And like this is one of those moments where i was like walking out just levitating yeah, I was yeah. like you know I was one of those Wait. kids in like in school. Like, if you have a project to present to the class, oh, I was yeah. like, I hope the people in front of me bomb because if they're really good, I'm gonna look. Yeah, <laughs> <terrible. laughs> exactly. Oh, That's yeah. why I go first, no matter what. Yeah. Oh, really? I have to because like yeah. the worst thing that could happen to me, even till this day, 
and I've given talks and stuff like that. Like if we sit in a semicircle and I'm at the the very last and you go, everybody going around, yeah. tell, tell us something about yourself yeah, and yeah, your yeah. name. I, if I'm last, I'm sitting there like shaking. Like yeah, yeah, I yeah. fucking hate yeah. this. Yeah. 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 Cause then everyone else sounds like amazing. Even if yeah. they're not, you're mm-hmm. like, Oh. Yeah. Just so whenever I get the yeah. opportunity, if they say who yeah. wants to go first, I go me. <laughs> like, yeah. I gotta get this energy yeah, 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 out yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is a good thing because then you're like, then you, then you don't have this prolonged like experience of dread. Like you're just like, oh, absolutely. I can just now listen to people or yeah. just not, <laughs> or just like do whatever. You know, you know? I, it's funny because like now I'm like realizing that like most of the things that I do because I think there's everybody that knows me, my friends, my family, yeah. even through YouTube or anything like that assume that I'm a pretty confident person. And I think I am. Yeah, I'm a confident yeah, person. 100%, but that's most man. of my confidence. <laughs> <laughs> You're weak. <laughs> weak. <laughs> it's like all predicated on fear. Like yeah, it's, yeah. it's about not letting that weigh you down. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. making uh-huh. a decision to be like, okay, this could be uncomfortable or yeah. I can make the best of it. You know? Or, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. it like yeah. ends up being the exact opposite of confidence right. or being outgoing. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah. To go towards that though. Like to to be down here and go towards like I want to pursue acting and literally I I can't even I was the kind of kid to sit at the back of the class every time I come yeah. in because I don't want the teacher to call on me same yeah. and I just kind of want to hide dude. you know and I also never did my homework so you know. same I was the same guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I literally like except I used to I get I used to get called on to read all the time because I was like a speed reader oh yeah and oh. Like, yeah so in I, English class everybody the teacher would be like okay Jason's gonna finish these last two chapters and I'm like bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> okay bye <laughs> we're getting out of here did you ever have a class where um it, it was like seventh grade or something and they're asking you to read and it says like a swear word's like shit is coming up or something and you're <laughs> just, just like lean into it like yes dude <laughs> my, yeah. this is my time <laughs> I made a uh, no I made I made a pact with my teacher we were really close my English teacher I'm really bad at reading Mm-hmm. I the school system did not do me justice, but I was like, "Hey, can you like just like never call on me for reading? Like, I just can't do this. I'll do like anything <laughs> else later. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'll no. I'll do more homework or something." But but you did know, they agree. Yeah, they did. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking. I mean, she was my journalism teacher too. So mm-hmm. like, I was always in that class because yeah. it was a journalism video and newspaper yeah, yeah. class. So it's like we became tight. So I was like, "Thank you, yeah, saving me." There's always those teachers. Yeah, when growing up, like I used to cut class and go to photography, which is so strange to think about because it never took like I had yeah. a film dark room yeah, in my yeah. high school oh, and yeah, I used yeah. to go hang out there yeah or I'd go hang out in the art room oh mm-hmm. yeah and like none of them took to yeah. like wait Until like later, I just yeah, like yeah. started taking photography seriously like six years ago yeah I wouldn't even say seriously I just got like my first you just camera started yeah. loving it yeah yeah, yeah. well I not even I just you just I got it. a camera yeah. for, for for video a Rebel oh, T3i yeah. oh the T3i and then one day I was like let me go and try and take some photos with this yeah 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 so that's kind of that's interesting too because like I had a a Canon 60D and mm. I for video only and then I, I was brand new to LA didn't know anyone didn't really do anything and so I was like I, I guess I'll take photos with this you know I just you walk around walk around you just got off a project you just got off an acting project right oh, is that what it was or no you, no no I shot a no. short film you shot a short, I shot film. A short film oh okay that I thought you GP. were acting in no, a short no, no, film. no 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 oh well that so there's a guy Michael Raymond James who's um He's a pretty well-known actor. Um, one of his biggest roles was True Blood. He's now in like Godfather of Harlem. Um, he and uh, one of his best friends, Ty, wrote this script about Ty's sister. Uh, got addicted to opioids and that kind of thing. She went missing, so they're trying to find her. She ended up oh, passing wow. away. Oh, so it's a true wow. story about like what's going on in America. Yeah. You know, all these yeah. ten cities that are popping up. And uh, we went out to Atlantic City to shoot this piece and like talk to people about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I shot it all on the like SL. To us, <laughs> right. with some light scene yeah. glass and like, it's a camera I really love and I trust. Yeah. It's this yeah. one running on me right now. Yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, it's a, it was a really dope project. And Michael's a he's a great guy who's super connected. We had one of our first days shooting. I don't know if you guys have watched The Wire. You know, the no, Wire? but like, yeah, bit, yeah. I, I, I need you know, to. Great show. Everybody it. always says it's the, like the best show ever made. It's one. It's yeah. probably yeah. the best show ever made. Yeah. And I love like you know, Sopranos and like yeah. Breaking yeah. Bad. But yeah. like yeah. The Wire is an education. Oh, and they've okay. brought on the writers on that show are so brilliant. Every time that they discuss a new topic and every season is topical, it's like the oh, streets, right. then yeah. the school system, yeah. then politics, yeah. and then media. So every and then it just yeah. keeps building out this idea of like what it is, what what are the streets, uh, you know what I mean? How it's yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. And by the end of it, it's just a masterclass on like 
the police and everything. It's yeah. just, it's a brilliant show. Um, but one of the main actors who's like the, the, the main drug dealer in the show, Jamie Hector is like a legend. He's from Brooklyn. Yeah. And like, he just came up to like play background in one of the scenes in the diner. Like he just came and walked through the back of the diner real quick. I was like, dude, so what? For the people knowing, they'll be like, <laughs> yeah, basically. It was like, oh, Jamie Hector playing an extra? Like, so it was, it was a dope. That's real power. Yeah. It was, it was a dope set to be on. And like some of the guys that like, cool. were there that were writers had done some really dope pieces like recently. Um, a Prayer Before Dawn. I don't know if you guys have seen I that. I have seen that. Yeah, so, so good. Dawn. Yeah, jo yeah. Uh, Johnny okay. Hirschbein, Hirschbein, he was he was there on set with yeah. us, and he played an extra, and he wrote that. Oh, so, cool. It must have <laughs> been an intense set to be on, man. It was uh, cool. yeah, I mean, they yeah. all, like, you know, they dug my work. They, like, let me just kind of, like, yeah. run wild and yeah. kind of, yeah. you know, yeah. create the lighting and yeah. find those street moments. Yeah. And, yeah. They, you know, they'd always schedule a little bit time for me to hunt. They're like, okay, oh, we cool. got everything. Now you yeah. just go hunt. And I'd be like, oh, yeah. How do you prep for something like that? Is there a certain theme you're trying to go with or no actually this was like i've been so busy there's mm -hmm. like been zero prep and yeah. he's yeah. an actor on multiple shows right yeah, now yeah. so there was been like no prep yeah and i, I i'm yeah, fine man. working under those conditions i think a lot of dps can't do that and yeah. i think that's one of my strengths and it's simply because i do street photography i yeah. like portrait work you know what i mean yeah. i shoot moths i think all of the practice <laughs> everything it's just yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you do everything yeah right if yeah. you can like find yourself uh, moving through all these situations it's rare that you're going to get presented with something that's going to make you uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. Like I can get out of my comfort zone pretty easily with a camera yeah. in my hand. Yeah. So yeah, 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 just, yeah. It's just adapting. Well, right? well, that and the fact that you know that tool so well, yeah. like, it, and that's what it is. It's a tool for you to capture and mm. see the world that you're yeah. creating or that's in front of you yeah. right there. So yeah. 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 Being super familiar with your, you know, your tool your equipment is going to, be, and to help. Composition yeah, yeah. and lighting. Totally. Exactly. Yeah. yeah Especially yeah, yeah. just being given time. To kind of figure it out too. Absolutely, and everything's not a rush. You know, where, where, where where can we see it? When can I, it be done? I mean, it just wraps, so okay, we, yeah. we got to get an editor and all yeah. that stuff. And then come on, yeah. I know. what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it right now. <laughs> and start whipping it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I'll okay, send, okay. I'll send you okay. Some stills. It looks, Dude, it looks that, good. Yeah. That would be fantastic. Are We'd you? Love to see are you trying to do that. more like DP kind of stuff? Um, I I think I was moving in that direction. Yeah. But now that I'm leaving for a year, yeah, yeah, I don't know that I'll necessarily. Be moving in that. I was starting yeah. to invest in more video equipment. I was about yeah. to buy some light scene glass because I'm like, oh, I love this. Oh, yeah. It just looks amazing. Oh. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, now it's not looking that way. Now I'm yeah. being hired to just do yeah. photo. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. just kind of like dialing back everything. Tell us Great. about the, the, the tell okay. us about your thing. So your new uh, venture. Yeah, one of the guys that I shoot for, who's one of my best friends, is Jason Momoa. I've known him for 15 years. We've only started working together professionally over the last three years because mm. he's the type of guy that like you know, at the end of the day, the work still needs to speak for itself. You, yeah. you, you, you can come on, but like if the work's not strong, it's like, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't yeah. work out. Like yeah, simple yeah, as yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I really appreciate that because I do feel like yeah. I'm earning it. It's not, yeah, not yeah. just a friend yeah. helping me out. Obviously knowing people is everything. Right. But totally. at the same time, he's grown to love my work over the last few years. And mm. so he brings me on to all his personal projects. Yeah. Um, it's been my dream to get on the bigger sets. Yeah. I haven't been there yet. Dune. I would love to get Dune. on Dune. Yeah. That'd so he, awesome. you know, I was in Hawaii shooting for him recently on a mm. TV show uh, called Chief of War and he loved the photos. So he was like, look, what's it going to take to get you on the road to finish the show? And then maybe yeah. for a year. And I was like, I sent him a proposal. I pitched him a book um, that cool. I would make on him and all these things. And he said, yeah. Cool. And you know, even though he said yes to the book, it's, it's only going to happen if the work's good. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Totally. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. if the yeah, work's not yeah. good, he's going to be like, I'm not letting you put that out. Oh, so, totally. yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. I love being challenged in that way. Yeah. And he and all his friends know, and everybody that's ever worked with him know that he's like one of the biggest critics. Like he loves art. He mm -hmm. loves photography. Yeah. He loves video. So yeah. like if it ain't it, it ain't it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah, as yeah, simple yeah, as that. Yeah. And like, yeah. I love the way that we work together because We'll spend days, and he loves photography. He has an insane camera collection. Yeah. Like, he'll fly Todd Hado out. He'll fly me out, and then we'll just, like, shoot for a week. And then every night, we'll sit there and, like, look at photos. Yeah. You know oh what I mean? God. It's, like, dope. Everybody's like, I mean, okay, show fun. me what you got. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We all skate, look through images uh -huh, together, and it's, uh -huh. just, it's such a fun experience. Wow, like, that's so yeah, fun. Yeah, being a creative bubble like that yeah. at that level is great. Oh, totally. That's are you, fantastic. Are you ready to take off for a year? Doing, Not doing really. your thing? I don't know. It's, it's hard yeah. to wrap my mind around in it's this moment. I've, it's, yeah. the, it's the longest that I've ever left for. It only occurred to me the other day that I'd be living in New Zealand for six months. Yeah. Like, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Like, I was like, wait, I'm living there. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. six months yeah. is living. That's not just a yes. trip. And I was no, like, no, it's true. Oh, yeah. Shoot. yeah. I was like, yeah. I need to be thinking about this. Like, I'm yeah. moving. It's, yeah. This isn't just a trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what I've always wanted. To be honest, when I went and visited yeah. him on Aquaman, I saw everybody out there.
You know, yeah. it's me and my girlfriend. I'm like, okay, let me get on set photography. Yeah. And then I can move places six months at a time while these yeah. productions film. And it's like, yeah. I can live in Jordan. I can live in London. I can live yeah. in France. I could live in uh, yeah. New Zealand. Totally. So yeah. That's, that's, that's the goal. Production becomes like a bit of a community when you, and when everyone has to go overseas. It you does. Know, you just yeah. know each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really you well. Definitely. It's like and camp. Then, yeah, basically. Yeah. 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 It's a yeah. camp for adults. Uh, yeah. 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 Playing yeah. with toys every yeah. day. Yeah. You, see <laughs> him every, yeah, exactly. you see them every day. And it's, yeah. 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 Dude, that is. So, so you're going for six months. I mean, are you able to, are they going to have like little stents in there where you can like come back and. Probably you not. Know, no. It's no. just going to be go, go, go. Well, I mean, I'm, it depends on the work that I'm trying to make, right? So. Yeah. And in between, he still does really interesting stuff. Like he's 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 a gypsy. He's like it's like being part of the circus. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, anytime that he has off, like Lenny Kravitz comes by and they ride motorcycles, or Josh Brolin oh, okay, comes by yeah. and they ride nice. motorcycles, or like they're playing guitar. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's the stuff that I need to capture. This stuff. So right. if he has downtime, I still yeah. need to. You be don't there. have downtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I don't want to. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah, it's like yeah. I, I need to match his level. He's the hardest working individual I've ever met in my entire life. And like even when he gets breaks. He won't take them. So, yeah. like, for example, when Aquaman 2, I guess there was some scheduling. I don't know what happened, but he had two months off. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, go home. Go chill. And he was like, I can't fucking sit at home for two two months. Yeah. So, yeah. he's like, you got to find me something. And his agents were like, look, we didn't tell you this, but, like, they wanted you for Fast 10. And so, he went to Italy for two months and shot yeah. Fast 10. You know what I mean? It's like We didn't tell you about <laughs> Fast 10? Come on, guys. Tell, I mean, you it's like, tell it, about supposed to be filming, right? So, right, it's right, like yeah. one of those okay, things. It's true, but like, it's true, it's true, yeah. For me, that's like, I want to match that energy. I, like, I can't, yeah. if he's up, I got to be up. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, uh -huh. if he's doing something, I got to be doing it. Yeah, like, yeah. That's how you get it. better, honestly. Yeah. 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 He just has yeah. those, like, small little YouTube clips that he puts on. And every time, like, I follow him, like... Ooh, what is he gonna do? Like he just like mm -hmm. he was like one of them was like mastering his like Mustang or something. I was like, yeah. or or doing the Mustang. I don't know. It was something about a Mustang, and I like Mustangs. So yeah. it's like, oh man, I'm gonna watch this. This is cool. It's, and he, yeah, he just amazing. yeah, he has awesome that energy dude, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real That's question cool. is, how much film are you gonna shoot while you're in New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> well, if the well, answer is zero, <laughs> I have about a hundred rolls right now. Okay, yeah, I just got okay, like, just gave me like a bag of thirty rolls yeah. expired. Film, so I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna pass that nice. around out there and let cool. everybody cool. shoot that. Cool. But I have a bunch of rolls at my house. I'm gonna yeah. bring them with me and like, yeah. you know, I'll figure out when to use it, when yeah. not to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And maybe okay. it's cheaper to develop and scan in New Zealand. So. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If there's uh, anybody in New Zealand that does that, please holla at me. Uh, like, <laughs> <hit him> up. <laughs> so, how did you create the package mm -hmm. to pitch to him of like what this project could be? Because he wanted you to show up with a project, like, mm -hmm. this is like a proposal. You know, yeah. Well, I, I think about who you're pitching to, yeah. right? You yeah. know, it's like, uh, for me, it's like, I think about him if he's mm. somewhere pitching a movie, like, yeah. how does he pitch it? So I told him a story. I pulled all these images from all the years that we've shot together. And like, yeah. I have years and years of photographs with him, some that he's just never even seen. Mm. And I just put them in a spreadsheet and I laid them out from like his first time stepping on the stage at SNL. I had mm -hmm. an image of that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. that was yeah. his dream to be on SNL. Totally. So I captured that. Yeah. And that's like the first page. So yeah. I told him a story about like what it means to be like an um, an icon or a legend. You know, mm -hmm. an icon. You can be iconic, but like mm -hmm. a legendary a legendary person is documented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. kind of the pitch. I was yeah. like, oh, cool. let me, yeah. you're iconic, yeah. but like you're going to be a legend, but yeah. let me help you yeah, be a yeah, legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah, yeah, document yeah, totally. who you are yeah. and the story of who you are. Yeah. And so I pitched yeah. it like that and showed all these different spaces that I captured him nice. in. And I'm like, it's not a narcissistic project. It's not yeah. just going to be portraits of you. It's going to be like, the circus essentially that's yeah. around you and like yeah. right right you know yeah. the ripples you it create definitely is. And, yeah totally yeah so i want to do something that's like very intimate and like you know the price of fame it's a yeah. it's a, it's a heavy toll yeah to be totally. that famous yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. that's sure. yeah. that's gonna be so much fun i'm so excited for you man i hope i kill it yeah, <laughs> you mean, will we come know, on yeah, 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 we know what you're about you you will i don't think there's gonna crash be and burn <laughs> speaking no, of crashing and burning youtube Where's the wah wah wah? I haven't used this at all. Like, or let me do some crickets or something like that. Oh, you know? gosh. Wah, wah, I got some videos out there with 800 views. <laughs> <laughs> so for you yeah. guys, with the mass like success of YouTube and all that, mm -hmm. like, is there an end goal? Is there a plan? Like, what? Well, like obviously you're doing this and this is new. Mm -hmm. What else do you have in the pipeline? I think oh, you're kind of over <laughs> <laughs> massive success. I don't know about that. <laughs> if, like, you know, hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube is like, that's not easy to get, man. Like that's- No, yeah, I suppose. But it's, you know, uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did this become plans? about me again? What no. do you turn no. it into? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. do you, yeah. wa you want to do YouTube forever? Like, is that the plan? Something that I think about a lot is, you know, can it go forever? Can mm -hmm. can it 
sustain me? Can, yeah. a, a, will I at some point get bored in some capacity? Mm. I like telling stories. I have always liked telling stories. Mm. I was I said this at some point. Maybe it was on a podcast. Maybe it wasn't. But like. Mm. The reason I didn't do YouTube at first was because like I didn't see the the massive potential that it could be in any mm -hmm. capacity. I was just like, oh yeah, how do you change a tire, mm -hmm. a flat tire? And then that's yeah. how I use YouTube. And mm -hmm. then it wasn't until Jason was like, dude, you can do different things. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah. right, different yeah. things. That's why I love it. And so I don't know. I think I think telling like more stories that I that either we create, I create, we all create, whatever. I always wanted to be a filmmaker. I've always wanted to direct things. That's mm -hmm. kind of where I want to still continue to go because I enjoy the process of like working with people to create uh -huh. something. Um, some of my favorite times have been like behind the camera, uh, directing someone and getting a performance out of them mm -hmm. and, and being like, I 100% feel that. Like, yeah. and, I, and getting that across to another audience because it's, it's a master in communication. Can I yeah. communicate a feeling or something to the audience without me be, you know, being like, hey, did you get that? Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. So that's what I enjoy doing, yeah. so I wanna continue going that it's way. It's interesting that you're saying that too, because I always think about YouTube and like, how I love POV stuff, I love it, I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like my first motorcycle I ever bought, I watched a guy ride around on a motorcycle with a oh, chest yeah. mount, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he just rode his motorcycle. Yeah. I'd watch hours yeah. of that, yeah. just because I'm like, oh, I want a motorcycle, I just yeah, wanna yeah, watch yeah, people yeah. ride. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of like, when I started with YouTube, I'm like, I'm gonna put a camera on my, a yeah. POV, like a GoPro, yeah. and I'm gonna yeah. do the same thing. Yeah. So I always love that, but I, I I started to struggle with the idea that like, does the image, is it still as impactful if I showed you how I got it? Yeah. Okay, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. like are oh, you, if you, if you yeah. look at someone's eyes, right? Because it's, video is very much like, hey, I want to convey something to yeah. you, right? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something very specific and yeah. I want you to feel this. Yeah. Whereas photo is so, there's such a mystery to it, right? right, right it's right, more right, about right. like, what do you think? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. once True. I start showing people the conversation, like, yeah. Oh, I'm laughing with this individual, but yeah. then the photo looks like they're sad. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, well, <laughs> like, you, you kind of ruined it. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. like seeing how the sausage is made. So, yeah. Yeah. even though I love POV, I do think that photo and video don't go hand in hand together, especially yeah. in the style that I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you're doing like other things, like uh, landscape, yeah. or like, it, that, that doesn't necessarily matter as much. But right, like, right, if right, I right. show you someone's mindset, well, as I'm capturing them now, it kind of right. Then you can, now it's whatever. It's just a portrait of someone. And now you're you're understanding where yeah. that went and how you got that. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's some of my favorite stuff of what what we do anyway is is going out on the, on those locations or finding those weird abandoned buildings or finding all those things and then telling the story of like how we got there and what we're seeing here mm -hmm. and, and capturing and and just exploring the space. I, yeah. I like exploring, and so mm -hmm. I think. That's some of my favorite. And then, you know, obviously the shit jokes we make. Yeah. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I would love like that kind of stuff. I'm so envious of it because like I don't have any of that here. There's no exploration mm -hmm. really in that mm -hmm. way. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. And New York is pretty rigid. Mm. You know, it's a grid. Okay. Yeah. So it's all straight lines. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. There's not too many like weird landscapes that I can actually play around with. Right. Here. Right. You know, right. It's just about the people. Yeah. So. And then that's why you explore people, really. Right. I mean, you explore people and their emotions. Kind of default, and, right. So we were having this conversation with beer get the other day yeah. um for your work you, you prefer just showing the photo no backstory included yes absolutely because of the mystery and just like yeah, maybe they kind of think about it a little yeah i think yeah. i think that's kind of what's so fascinating about photography it's like all mm -hmm. the books that you like i don't know who your favorite photographers are but like yeah. when you look at those images you are <laughs> <laughs> one day <laughs> when you look at like bruce davis and subway or something like that mm -hmm. right those portraits on the subway, they're, they're like, some of them are haunting, you know? Yeah. You want to know yeah. what this person was thinking, but mm -hmm. you can't ask those questions yeah. anymore. And that's yeah. what makes the photo so great. Yeah. It stays yeah. with you because you don't have answers, you know? And mm -hmm. um, when you have the answers, it's just like, there's no mystique it, to it. It becomes reality. It becomes reality. Like, yeah. You yeah. live in reality, right? So yeah. Yeah. who needs yeah. more of it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is why I also don't think there's any truth in photography like when people are mm. like oh, i'm searching for truth i'm like mm. there's no fucking truth you're showing yeah. me something that you preconceived mm -hmm. and that you've decided to capture we're all capturing different things yeah how can you tell me what you're capturing is truth it's not truth. you you decided yeah. to, I mean, to put this yeah, out there and like i guess theoretically your truth that or whatever or it's not maybe not even your truth but but yeah, we all have an idea yeah. already a preconceived notion of what it is that we want to capture like for example yeah. i went to baltimore to photograph with my friend caleb yeah and i mm -hmm. met Devin allen out there and he's awesome and he's from that space yeah and he captures baltimore 
how he knows Baltimore, right? Okay. Right. And when I went out there, we were looking for that, you know, that hood shit. We wanted all that stuff. We wanted to find people with guns and scars and blah, 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 blah. And I was yeah. like, wait a minute, I'm kind of perpetuating a stereotype here, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a truthful experience if I'm going searching for these things you're going, that I yeah. think are a great photograph. Right, 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 right. right I'm right. not a journalist. Yeah. Right. So if you're not a journalist and you're saying you're looking for truth, that seems a little strange to me. I could mm -hmm. have found a young, studious, black kid with glasses and be like, that's what I'm gonna photograph, right? right? Instead yeah. of perpetuating the stereotypes yeah. of Baltimore and violence. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's hard to put those things in check, but like yeah, we're yeah. all turning our lenses to things that we are very interested in. Right, 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 right. And somebody might not see it that way, yeah, right? Yeah. Somebody might not see it the same way that we see it. So how, whose truth is it? What did you find in Baltimore? And, and I found that it wasn't really my story to tell. I was too, um, caught up with the idea of what it is that I wanted to capture rather than actually, gotcha. you know, understanding yeah. the situation yeah, 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 and being yeah. there long enough to like right. know what it was that I was trying to say. Okay. And that's yeah. why I think it's important to know what you're trying to say. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. if you don't know, then you just end up doing something that's cool. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. Damn, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Maybe I should figure Have that out. Have you ever asked yourself that? <laughs> Have you ever said that to yourself? Like, that you was know, the hardest we, thing that ever happened. I was like, why yeah. am I taking pictures? Yeah. And I started asking, yeah. every time I took a photo, I go, why did I shoot that? Yeah. 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 I and, mean, I always go back to, to just discovery and discovering mm. a mo that moment that, I mean, it's a lot of Havana stuff for me. Or yeah. a lot of like, what are you discovering? That little piece of, you know, that little piece of trash in the corner or mm -hmm. that, that uh, like, um, I just, there was a photo in our last one um, of, a, of a couch on cinder blocks and mm -hmm. I just discovered it. And I was like, oh, that's, I don't know, it's just interesting. It's yeah. like, why did, why is this there? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a lot of like, I mean, I don't there's know a lot of things. In it, right? Like for yeah. sure, it, it's there for a reason. Yeah. Somebody had yeah. to put it there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, oh, that's a cool discovery. Like an essence and, yeah. of a human being. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. was there. That's a good example of like a mystery. If you knew that real reason, like it probably wouldn't be that fascinating. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah, exactly. How long did it take you to figure out like what, the message you're trying to send? Uh, I don't know that it's like an overall message. I think it's yeah. more so about like, if I capture something, yeah. thinking about mm -hmm. what the image means to me, mm -hmm. instead of like, um, just making something pretty, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a, a great photographer, Edward Keating, who I, I had the privilege of shooting with before he passed away. He won a Pulitzer Prize oh. for an image that he took uh, on um, after the, the Twin Towers fell. Um, and it was like a, a destroyed building in like this tea kettle like a fine china set covered in dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sitting oh, there. Wow. And it won him a Pulitzer Prize. That yeah, image. that's a pretty powerful image. And he almost yeah. didn't shoot it. It was yeah. completely perfect, but everything around it was destroyed. Yeah. And he yeah. just walked out. And when he, the crazy thing is, we go there and he shows me where he took this photo. Yeah. And I have this Citizen app on my phone. Yeah. And he's like, it starts ringing. And I'm like, mass homicide? What the fuck's going on? And he's like, mass homicide? There's, there's a terrorist attack on the west side. Somebody's driving their car through the bike lane and hitting people. Oh my and God. he just takes off running. So like while he's showing me where he won his Pulitzer Prize, another terrorist attack happens oh, wow. in the West Village. And oh, we were geez. just like, what the fuck is going on? So we went running over there and he like turned into like journalist extraordinaire, yeah. like yeah. using his credentials because he used to be a New York Times photographer yeah. and he tried yeah, yeah, to get yeah. in there. Um, but one thing he said to me, he was like, anybody can make a pretty picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this yeah. is true. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Anybody can make a pretty picture, but it's more about the intention um, when I when I did my road trip Route 66 across the country, right. I started feel out, realizing that um, I was fo I was photographing from fear. My mm. photos were very rigid, uh -huh. and I didn't like them. I actually hated yeah. the trip, and I, it, it took me a while before I went back to these images uh -huh. and like decided what I wanted to do with them. And the mm -hmm. reason why I didn't like them was because I was so afraid on that trip that someone was going to mistake my camera for a gun. You know wow. what I mean? As yeah. a young black man, yeah. I was like somebody, yeah. and everywhere we went, people had guns. Yeah. Uh, there were Trump flags yeah. everywhere. This was yeah. high to Trump mania. Yeah. And I'd go back and I'd look at these images and I'm like, oh, I was photographing from fear. Yeah. Everything mm. was about this decay, this abandonment, and yeah. like impending doom, like crosses everywhere. Mm. I'm like, this is crazy. This feels yeah, like man. a cult. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, you know, some people don't travel America and feel that way, but like, yeah. you know, even in 20, 20, when I went on that trip, yeah. you know, I felt like I was in a foreign land in my own country. Right, right, right. And that's what I mean when I say like, why? And like con constantly thinking about these things, regardless of like whether or not this one thing interested you, it's like to be like, 
the essence of a human, like who is in this space and like yeah. what draws you to these yeah. spaces. I think that that's yeah. kind of profound sometimes. We don't yeah. always get to tell that story. Yeah. But when you compose something in a certain way and put those images together, maybe totally. people get it. Did you ever you find know? what you were saying or what you wanted to say or what that became? And have you done anything with that project? I'm gonna, no, or, I'm gonna keep photographing gonna, it. It's okay. like, everything that I'm doing is like more long-term. Like I, yeah. think, I think the people that I'm inspired by photographically, uh, like yeah. they're not like, <laughs> like I'm, I've only been photographing for a few years, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, I haven't been photographing that long. I've been shooting Leica for like three years, maybe four. Yeah. And um, people are like, when are you going to make a book? And I'm like, I, I'm not good enough to make a book yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah. enough work to yeah. make a book. Maybe in 10 years, six or seven years, I'll make a book. You know what yeah. I mean? And yeah. like, but <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I saw plenty of photographs last night that could make a pretty cool book. Uh, I appreciate that. I think that's just the artist. Excuse me. Yeah. I think that's just the... Why am I blowing bubbles with my mouth? <laughs> I think that's just the artist's curse. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like, I want to make a book, but like, yeah, these photos are good, but they could be better and better and yeah, better. And yeah, you yeah. never, you got to just cap it off at some point and For start sure. a new project. Yeah. You know, that's there, true. Yeah. There's a famous phrase in the movie industry that like a movie is never finished. It's just abandoned. Yeah. You yeah. just got to let it go. No, know? that's, that's very true. It's like expectation and taste, right? Like they're yeah. not. They have to meet, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah it's yeah. like my taste is very high, mm -hmm. but like, you know, I haven't gotten there yet. So it's like <laughs> everything that I'm looking at, I'm like, this could be so much better. But like right, you know, right, you, right, at some right, point right. you do just gotta let it go. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I also just, you know, I wanna I wanna make sure if I'm putting something out into the world that I yeah. I do I do care about you it. I do love it. it. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean so a uh, little side tangent here a little bit. Uh if they asked you to be uh, an extra, would you be an extra on set? In what? Chief of War? In Chief of War. If they're like, <laughs> I, bro, I'm not putting on good. a thong for <laughs> <laughs> Put the camera down. Yeah. Put it down. No, maybe we want you. Shoot. We'll see, man. I don't know. Like, I, those dudes are all wearing thongs. Like, <laughs> might be the wrong set for me to bring back into acting. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, that's that's the perfect one. He really went for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you have a pretty close working relationship with Leica that's been going on a few years now. Yeah, yeah. Um, how did that get started? Yeah. Random, man. Um, so I was photographing Fuji. I was working in a bar. And I guess one of the guys, one of the regulars at the bar, he, um, the head of sales, her name is Jenny Kiefer, uh -huh. was like, always went to his bar and drank there. Okay. And so he showed her my photos one day. Mm -hmm. And she like DM'd me and she was like, hey, you're too good to be shooting Fujifilm. <laughs> that was like Ooh. straight up slid in my DMs. And I was like, ah, I'm too poor to shoot anything else. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, listen, why don't I give you uh, like a discount on your dream rig? And I was like, it's still not going to be enough. Like my dream rig is probably about 12K. So yeah, like yeah, what's yeah. that discount? Yeah, it's yeah. It's still too much money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she put me on the loaner pool and uh, she introduced me to Kieran, who is like now the VP of marketing. Mm. Okay. And um, they sent me like a blue M7 because they were like, what camera do you want to borrow? And I was like, cool. Uh, film cameras. I was yeah. like, I didn't want a digital Leica at yeah. the time. I just wanted to film Leica. So they sent me an M7 with 35 crown and it was silver. So beautiful. And I took it to Greece and like, oh, wow. I just shot that. Yeah. I had my Fuji at the yeah. time. And like, I was just getting so into it. Yeah. I loved it, but yeah. I didn't take it that seriously. Mm. I didn't even Google Kieran at the time. I didn't know how, her position. Okay, right? yeah. So yeah. I'm loving this interaction with Leica. One day, Momo is actually in the city, and he's like, hey, I'm shooting an ad for this new camera that's coming out. It was like the CL2 or something like mm. that. He's like, will you come and help um, Brian, who's just one of his best friends as well, and his DP, help him location scout and like just chill with them in the city while they shoot mm. this? I'm like, yeah, of course. Cool. So I go by the Bowery Hotel, and we're all chilling there, and he's like, oh, fuck, the cameras haven't showed up yet. He's like, we're getting a big package of cameras. And he's yeah. like, let me call Kieran real quick. This is Momoa talking. And I'm like, who are you calling? And he's like, Kieran. And I'm like, Kieran Carnani? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, the woman that's been reaching out to me is talking to Aquaman? Yeah. And I just thought I was talking to some like Instagram, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, you should shoot right, our right. cameras type yeah, person. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh -huh. like, that was my first moment of being like, yo, this company actually cares. Yeah. Like, yeah. someone at this high of the ranks yeah. is just talking yeah. to me, being like, right, yeah, right. we want you to shoot this brand. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I didn't even Google her. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. like, Jay, send her a picture right now, the two of us. <laughs> and she texts me, she's like, holy shit, you two know each other? Uh, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, this uh, is family. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so from there, it was just kind of like, all right, what else can you do? So I started shooting yeah. like more projects for them, like video stuff. Stuff, yeah. got in with Ralph Gibson and yeah. like everybody and just you know we just continued our relationship from there and I started to take oh, wow. it more seriously and I yeah. was like okay yeah. I want to make the switch yeah and it was always loners they didn't it was never like I owned anything like them and there was eventually I was like listen I can't I can't take another loner from you guys like yeah you're either gonna set me up or 
Yeah. Just can't. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I, it was a huge bluff because, like, if they said no, I would have been like, hey, <laughs> well, <that's laughs> we're going back to food. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like borrowing cameras from Momo. I'd be yeah. like, I don't have a camera right now. Like, yeah. I took all my cameras yeah. and he'd like, He'd like FedEx overnight an M10R or monochrome and, a, and like a Noctilux and I'd be like, thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'd be shaking if I was using a Jason Momoa's Leica and also a Noctilux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. Uh -huh. I'd be like, he lent me his Noctilux for a year. I took oh, it to man. Japan. I have a video in Japan where oh, I shot wow. M7 with Cine still yeah. at night oh, yeah. in Tokyo. Yeah. And like, yeah. I could barely shoot that lens at 0.95. It was so bright in Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, like, Tokyo. All the oh, you're there. saying you had to like close down. Yeah, I, no, it was yeah, so bright, I didn't yeah. want to. I refused yeah, yeah. to. I mean, why yeah, would well, you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, you're kind of like, like, let's I, just I see what to. happens. Yeah, uh -huh, all uh -huh. the photos are terrible. But the whole point oh, of that wow. video was like, even with a $20,000 rig, yeah, I got uh -huh. shitty photos. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't matter oh, what you shoot with. Gear doesn't right, matter. Right. Gear yeah, doesn't gear doesn't matter. That's true. Until it does. Until it does. So are you able to like, pitch if you come up with like a passion project you've been thinking of doing are you able to pitch to Leica hey I'm thinking of doing this mm -hmm. this is the kind of gear I was thinking of using maybe mm -hmm. if it's something you don't already have you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah for sure they, absolutely cool. yeah they run it through the whole process and everything no it's I, like I'm now at this point I'm like it's like an email away like I recently <laughs> when I was going to Washington to go pick up these moths I like yeah. you know right contact at Leica and yeah. like I'm like, I'm leaving tomorrow, I have a flight. Yeah. And they're in Jersey, so they just like couriered what I needed oh. straight to my apartment that they're day. In Jersey? Wow. Yeah. Like a their headquarters, New Jersey, oh, their headquarters in Jersey. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So it was just like a ta they put it in a taxi and yeah. it just showed up at my house. And like yeah. within an hour, I'm like, sick. So <laughs> cool. that's like a Uber <laughs> Eats except yeah, Leicas. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Uber so Eats of Leicas. Yeah. They sent me a couple lenses and monochrome nice. camera and like yeah, it's Ooh. it's cool. So you know, it's all it's all family and it's all relationship. Yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah. The cool thing about Leica is that it's like networking on steroids. You yeah. know what I mean? If you go yeah. to like a gallery LA, if people know you as an ambassador and they oh, like your yeah. work, yeah. you're talking like the creme de la creme of photographers. Yeah. Right? Like one of my good friends now, Matthew Baton, used to photograph for Lenny Kravitz. Now he's oh, Dave cool. Chappelle's personal photographer. Oh, I cool. met him in that same club where I met Zendaya, and he was oh, like, yeah. he's like, why do you look so familiar? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, stock oh, easy. Oh, he was like, oh, I know your stuff. I'm yeah, like, yeah, shut yeah. the fuck up. And he's You're like, like no, you don't? That? Yeah. yeah, yeah that is he's like, cool. Chappelle's performing. Come to the show. And I'm like, no. And, and he got like, me tickets. Crazy. Oh, my and God. And then I left the show. And he's like, hey, I put you on the, the guest list for the after party. So I go to Annabelle's, which is like a, yeah. a members only club. Uh -huh. And then mm -hmm. it's Chappelle's son's birthday party. So I'm like in this room <laughs> oh, with wow. Dave Chappelle, Jeffrey Ross, and like 40 other people, and Matthew Baton. And they're all kids. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know how old Dave no, Chappelle's no, We kids were are. very no. wasted. And like, I'm like, this is crazy. Like, that wouldn't happen. Well, yeah. It's, yeah. That would ne it would just never happen that Sony or Fujifilm or anybody's going to put you in the room with photographers yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, and again, it's not to shit on YouTube at all, but mm -hmm. like they don't even mix the space anymore. It's like we have a, a thing, an event going on, and mm -hmm. it's like they only invite YouTubers. Mm -hmm. They won't invite people yeah. from this other world because it's like, well, we're yeah. not really making cameras for them. Oh, we're making yeah. cameras that people can like still film themselves on. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So. Sony's. <laughs> there is sort of an artistry to to Leica, and I, just hearing all this behind the scenes stuff is like yeah. it really, it makes you have a, a lot more respect for them as a company, mm -hmm. and just yeah. working with like people who are so creative, like yeah. you, yeah, and just yeah. you know everyone else on their lineup is like, you know, it's so easy to become detached from a brand, but like mm -hmm. when you hear about that kind of stuff, it's like. They're there. That's pretty dope. The brand exists. Yeah, right it's there, real. Yeah. There's yeah. actual people that you can email. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. there's real stores that you can walk into. Yeah. But also not only that, that it's the only camera company that has galleries. Oh yeah. Like they have galleries yeah. in their store. It's like a testament yeah. to how much they yeah. actually yeah, care yeah, yeah, about yeah. photography. Yeah. They For don't sure. they don't mess around with this stuff. Dude, well, man. I mean looking at the space, looking at the history, looking at all the stuff in there, that would be just so like I just love it. Just I beautiful. geek out, you know what I mean? Oh, I, I, know, I really, know. really nerd well, out. Yeah, I mean sure, they're 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 cameras and they're tools, but they're also like art pieces a little bit. Like they, they Absolutely. Just because of the, the history and what they mean and you know. I, like which yeah. one is sitting on your shelf where you're like Fuck, I'm gonna go shoot more yeah. because this thing makes me want to shoot. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. And like, oh, totally. that's priceless to me. Yeah. That's what my X Pro Two did to me. Yeah, my yeah. X Pro Two turned me into the photographer that I am mm, because right. my Canon, I hated it. I yeah. never wanted to shoot that yeah. thing. I yeah. always wanted my Fuji in my hand. Yeah, and then I got this, and I'm like, oh my god, like, yeah, yeah. this is the next step for me. For sure, and, for sure. Uh, yeah. I shoot way more. Yeah, I've yeah. spoken about it a hundred times. My Leica M6, I just blast through rolls way yeah. faster on that camera than any other camera. 100%. Yeah. It's, yeah. There's something to it. I don't know. It's about workflow at the end of the day, right? Yeah. It's yeah. all about workflow. It's not so much about gear. Yeah. And 
but it's about how something makes you feel too. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah, like, yeah. you know, we talk about motorcycles briefly, but like, yeah. that's not a practical decision. You know what no, I mean? It yeah. could kill you, but like, how do you feel when you ride it? Right? Dangerous. Like you, feel, <laughs> <laughs> you feel like somebody that needs to be taken seriously. Like, like, uh -huh, yeah, that, your entire road trip, I was just like, damn, maybe I need one of these things. Like, I want to feel power. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's something that it does to you. And for me, yeah. it's like you pair a, a Leica with a motorcycle and it's like pure freedom. Mm. You're, it's on your back yeah. and yeah. you're just out and uh -huh. the world's there and you just photograph it and you, yeah. it, it's all you need, you know? Like this is all I need. Yeah. This one camera yeah. with the lens on it. I yeah. mean, I have more, but. <laughs> <laughs> but just like one more, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 just like six more cameras. But it's all, it literally, yeah. one is all I yeah. need. You know? yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. shot something on set, which I showed you guys that yeah. I can't share oh, yet. Beautiful work. But like, I shot that all with an M11. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, like, I didn't mm -hmm. have autofocus. I didn't yeah. have different lenses. It was just like, let's go. You know? yeah, it just feels yeah. more personal, more just like made by you and mm -hmm. your camera. Yeah. Totally. What kind of motorcycle do you have? Um, okay, right now, I have a Yamaha XR. It's like old. Uh, okay. It's uh, from the 80s, but you know it's like a cafe. You, you, oh, okay. So no yeah. wheelies. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Can you do a wheelie? <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you think I passed my motorcycle test? Yeah. <laughs> I have a Honda Civic 2008. That's just as cool, there. man. <laughs> <laughs> they got a skirt on it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually not cool at all. It's like the stock. It's yeah, it's yeah. no. Uh, so okay, all right. So okay, real talk, real talk. Okay, if you guys got M11s tomorrow, are you still shooting film? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's process. It's, it's process. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like I could do digital if it was all like black and white. You know. So a monochrome. Yeah. So if you got a monochrome tomorrow, maybe, maybe. You still one. shoot. I mean, I shoot film in tandem. So, I mean, yeah. You know. yeah. yeah. It does, you don't have to commit to one or the other. It's not a no, war, you know? No, no. Yeah. It kind of is. Yeah. It kind of oh, is. Okay. <laughs> it feels like it's sometimes. You know what? It's on. <laughs> um, uh, hey, mom, how does this look on me? Does this look good? Ooh, Should I? <laughs> you, look like a, you look like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Big old gold chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think all Legos look good, Dude, but they really I think you and me are very good. different. I love yeah. the black ones. You like black yeah. better? Really? Yeah. No, he it's loves titanium. Be no, yeah, he he really. titanium, titanium sure. baby. Mm. I mean, so, okay, so this is, I, I played with a, I can't have this around my neck too long or it might Your neck stay. Starts to hurt. It might, no, I was going to say it might stay. It might <laughs> stick there forever. No, I played around with an M M9. Yeah. And I was like, ah, it, like the shutter was, I didn't really enjoy the shutter. There was M9? something about it. Yeah. Mm. There was, it was, it was like too damp. It just wasn't responsive. I don't, I'm not quite sure, but I was just like, mm. oh, this one's not for me. Uh, that one's for me. Yeah, it, it's zippy. It feels I mean, good. It's yeah. like oh, I love. I love it. It feels yeah. like a refinement. No, it's over the M10R and the M10s and yeah. stuff like Do you that. Have, you have the M10s in here. This, in this is M10. Oh, that's this is M10R. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't have the M10. Oh, the what does the R stand for? Uh, really uh, cool. Resolution. Ready oh, to blast. Resolution. Yeah, because <laughs> the M10 was 24, and then the R was oh. 40, oh, right, yeah. 40 megapixels. Oh, they like doubled it. Too good outside, actually. Yeah. Well, thank you for. Coming down and opening up your studio and yeah. sitting and talking, talking shop with us. Uh, really appreciate mm. it. Really appreciate everything it's, you do for the community and everything yeah. you do for, you know, those of us who love who love Leica. Um, yeah. And love photography. Anything, is there anything you want to plug before yeah. uh, we wrap this up? Um, I don't know, man. No, I don't think so. Just thank you guys for coming down and doing this. Dude, this was super fun. This we had so much fun. Anytime yeah. we talk to you, it's like. It's just so inspirational just because I think like it's not. Yeah, you don't go out. You don't just take photos. You like you make art. You think about it. You're intentional. And being intentional is is what I think I need to be. I need to strive for a little bit more. Yeah. To After be fair. Talking to you last night, there was like an energy. We were walking. home. Oh, my like, God. Yeah. It's always awesome talking to you. It really is. It just always makes, it makes you want to shoot. Thank you guys, seriously, a lot. Looking forward to Thank, seeing I mean, this thanks. and uh, keep it going with these conversations. Cool. Hell yeah, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. That's Bye, it. this has been a Mami Amigos. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>